Hope everyone's doing well. My name is EQ, aka the Certified Gem Hunter, and welcome to Stalkaholics. Today's video is going to go a little bit differently than the other ones. We're going to be talking about a special topic, taking profits, which everyone loves and needs to know, and can be overlooked when you're seeing all these hypothetical gains. Just because you hit a 10x doesn't mean you actually gain 10x until you close your trades and get those profits. But before we get into all that, if you could throw a like on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel or, or come check out our premium crypto accelerator program where you get access to all of our exclusive Discord channels, early buy and sell signals, our trading view oscillators and overlays, and our academy as well. And without further ado, let's get that intro rolling. So in this video, I want to go over three of my favorite take profit strategies. Now these can work for investors or traders. A reminder that there is a difference. Investors are going to be long term holders and traders are people that are looking for profit specifically. But anyone that's in a hodl can take advantage of some of these as well. Not only are they good take profit strategies, but they're also really good ways to keep your risk in check and make sure you're not over leveraging yourself. Because at the end of the day, you should be willing to lose all the money you're trading. If you told me you wanted to trade with $5,000, I would tell you to take that $5,000, throw it in the trash and burn it. And if you're cool with letting that burn, then you can continue trading. If not, it's an emotional trade and you should probably cut that money down. AKA if it's grocery money or money you gotta live off of, don't trade with it. It's important to remember before we get into this that 90% of traders liquidate their account within the first three months, which means that they fully lose all their money. And at the same time, 90% or more now of traders are losing traders. So if you wanna be in the profitable 10%, you have to be smart. You have to be methodical and more importantly, you have to be patient. And last but not least, don't let the greed monster eat you. If you're even questioning taking profit, more than likely, it's probably a good opportunity or idea to take at least a little bit of profit. Now, keep in mind before we get into these, none of this is financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes. These are just strategies that I use myself, but I don't recommend using any of this on a financial level. Please trade at your own risk and use your own due diligence when trading. Now, the first one we're going to be going over is a moon bag. What a moon bag means is essentially leaving only house money in so that if the project was to crash or go to zero, for example, you're not going to get FOMO because you lost that money because at the end of the day, that money wasn't even yours to begin with. So if you want to have a moon bag, the way to achieve that would be, let's say I invested $1,000 into Cardano ADA. Now I would patiently wait for Cardano to make a 2x move or maybe a little bit more than a 2x move. Now once my investment reaches around $2,200, let's say, I'll take out my $1,000 investment and the $200 on top as profit and I'll leave $1,000 in Cardano. Now what that does is it cleared up that money I originally invested in and allows me to move it into a new project. So I'll still be able to have $1,000 in Cardano, I'll be able to move $1,000 into a next big project that I think can move, and I'll also have that $200 take profit that I can either move to a third project or I can move into my savings account or my checking account or whatever it may be. And from a long term perspective, this is the best way to continue adding more projects into your bag without taking or adding more into your original investment because I can continue to move that $1,000. And if I do that five times, then I have five projects like Cardano, Chainlink, Dot, Luna, and Elrond now, because I took that $1,000 investment and I moved it into all five of them one by one. And every time it did a 2X or a little more, I took out the initial and a little on top. That's probably my favorite long-term strategy and my top way to add bags moving into the future, especially when I'm investing in low cap altcoins. I can invest in something with a $100 million market cap, knowing that the chances of it hitting 1 billion are relatively good. And then I can cash out my 10x at 1 billion and I have plenty of money to play with and add into new projects while still being fully invested in that first project. So in case it does continue to move, I still have that $1,000 in there. So no FOMO will hit you. You won't be trading emotional because even if it goes to zero, that's house money. It's all play money. It's all hypothetical. It's not money that came out of your actual pocket that you worked for. So that's the key point of trading with house money and creating a moon bag. The second take profit strategy we're going to be talking about is called shaving the tops. Now essentially what shaving the tops means is let's say we're going back to our original thousand dollar investment in Cardano. I could say that every time my value of my project gets to 1500, I'll shave that $500 off and leave it at a thousand. And then I won't touch Cardano again until the, it goes back up and I'm back at 1500, then I'll shave that 500 again. Now what that's doing is that you don't have to actually wait for let's say the 2x for the moon bag. You can gradually build your moon bag. So let's say you take profit four times at $200 or five times at $200. You made $1,000 in profit. 
all together. Now you can take that thousand dollars and you have a new bag that you can add to another new investment. What this is really good for as well is to make sure that you're taking advantage of all the tops. So let's say I'm invested in Cardano and I see Cardano go up 40%. I might shave the top of that because more than likely, probability wise, the price might drop in the next couple of days. And it just gives me a little extra incentive to have buying power to buy the dip and accumulate more because at the end of the day, accumulation is the name of the game. That what you do in the bear market is what's going to transfer into wealth. The wealthy people are the ones that accumulate in a bear cycle, and then when the bull comes back, you're going 100x on everything you've been accumulating in the bear market. Now, shaving the tops is usually used by traders, not investors so much. And again, it's a very good way to be able to add buying power so that you can buy the dips when they come. So you're buying, you're buying the red and you're selling the green or while everyone else is buying, you're selling and when everyone else is selling, you're buying. You don't want to follow the sheep. That's how you stay in the top 10%. That's how you become a profitable trader. You want to go against the grain. So when you see everyone pumping sheep, more than likely the best bet for you to make money in the next coming days or weeks would be to short sheep, for example. Now the last take profit strategy we're going to be going over is called trailing stop losses. Now the major advantage of this is that you're not going to be capping yourself off. If I was to take profit and price keeps moving up, I might feel FOMO because I closed out. Whereas if I put my trailing stop loss and price keeps moving up, I can continue to move that stop loss up and continue to secure those gains until price hits that stop loss. So let's say I bought into Ethereum at $3,000 and when it starts to push to $4,000, and I wanna make sure that even if the market tanks, I'm still gonna get some profit on that trade. What I can do is put sell limits at around 35, 3600, so that if price does drop down to that range, all of my, my trades will close and I'll be able to secure that profit. It makes my trade risk-free because I don't have to worry about a market crash. I don't have to worry about the market dropping 80% overnight and me losing the majority of my investment because I have that security blanket, which would be a trailing stop loss. That will help you sleep a little bit better at night as well. That's one of our main trading strategies when we get into leverage and futures trading. Just because of the volatility of the market, things can change so fast. It's always important to secure those gains without having to put a cap on yourself. So let's say you're trading futures and you're putting a 10x leverage trade and you're up 60% on the trade. You can put a trailing stop loss at around 40%. So if price does drop, you're still gonna be able to, you'll be able to secure those gains. And at the same time, if price continues to move up, you'll still be able to move your stop loss up with it. So let's say the price moves up and you're at an 80% gain. Now you can move your trending stop loss to 60%. And in futures, that 30% can go a long way. Now, when you're able to combine all three of these strategies together, they really complement each other well and will take your trading to the next level. It's really what can set you apart from being a novice trader to being an expert trader or really from bringing or really from being a non-profitable trader to a profitable trader. The best way to learn how to make money is to learn how to not lose money. When you learn how to not lose that money, you'll be making that much more money in return. Now, if you want to learn more about all of this, please make sure to check out our Crypto Accelerator program. I'll leave the link in the description and in the comments. Our program is still sitting at 50% off, so you definitely want to take advantage of that before we sell out of those spots. They do sell out quickly, and we'd love to have you come join our family so we can help you learn years worth of information in as little as a couple months and if you didn't get a chance to already please throw a like on this video subscribe to our channel make sure to check out our discord group this is going to wrap up our take profit video be on the lookout for more how-to videos there's going to be more drops like this coming in the near future so i hope everyone has a great morning afternoon or evening depending on where you're watching this in the world and we'll catch you on the next one